A few years back, I promised my nephew Nathan that we would make a giant Hot Pocket together. Nathan, if you're watching this, we're making a giant Hot Pocket for you, with you, and then we're gonna eat it together. Well, Nathan, if you're watching this, I lied. We're doing it today. Today on Healthy Junk Food, we're gonna show you how to make Hot Pockets. Put it in the sleeve, grab up a plate, and microwave. And we're done. What the? What? <gasps> <laughs> We've been getting requests to make a giant Hot Pocket for years, but we held off because I promised Nathan I would make it with him. Wait, that's, sorry. I'm not really his uncle. We are competing. Julia is going to be making a pepperoni pizza Hot Pocket, and I'm going to be making a Hot Pocket from a Chef Bardi pizza maker. Look at how good they make it look on, on the packaging. I didn't realize that I purchased something that was going to be more work. <laughs> You're baking and you had no idea you were going. I didn't think, no. <laughs> I got two pouches of faux dough. It's Vietnamese. And now all they're telling me to do is add a third cup of warm water. Very warm. And there's no cheese in there? There's no cheese in there. <laughs> really? <laughs> They basically are selling you a box of dough. I can't believe Chef RD has like a kit like this. If only they just put actually pizza sauce in it, actually cheese, and actual pepperoni, this would it be awesome. Do you know what active dry yeast is? Yeah, it's yeast that's active. You thought you were gonna only use the box to make your whole entire hot pocket. It's so misleading. You have to cover it and let it sit in a warm area for five minutes. got time for that. <laughs> Ooh, yes, I'm ready to add my flour. Mine's gonna have to rise for like an hour. <laughs> Do I have to put eggs in this? No. Finally, I have a, a product in my hand. I got Totino's, some mozzarella sticks, Lunchable, can of tomato paste. I got some mozzarella cheese blocks, pepperoni stick, pizza sauce, and some tomato paste just in case I want to thicken it up. And if you're curious about those details, you can find them at healthyjunkfood.com. Oh, this is, this is dreadful. Taste that. I don't want to taste it. Try it. <laughs> Sauce going in. A Little bit of a fresh oregano going in. Cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sweetness to this just to really cut that bitter taste in there. Smells like Chuck E. Cheese is over here. This is what I'm looking for, but I'm making this two and a half times size bigger. Just have to use like the thicker part of it. Yeah, just do a bias. What are you planning? I just gotta roll my dough out and throw shit into it. I think I'm gonna use this whole block of cheese. Chef Boy RD makes some good dough. How big are you going? I'm gonna go as big as I can go with the amount of dough that I made from my Chef Boy RD pizza kit. <laughs> there we go, all the cheese blocks. Oh my God, this dough is so ooey gooey. I love playing with it. My dough ripped, like right away. <laughs> I think this is gonna be the center right here. My sauce is gonna go down first. Mm, maybe. <sighs> you need help with the... My sauce is going down right now. I'm not gonna play no games. I feel bad Nathan's not here. Should we call him? You said you were gonna make him a Hot Pocket. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're just gonna add into our rectangular area all of our ingredients. I'm honestly just using stuff that like I found in the fridge. Once this all comes together, JP, I think we're gonna be happy we did it. Really? I mean, I'm talking for myself. I got a six pack of White Castle sliders, some polio string cheese, pepperonis from some Lunchables, and my house made sauce from the Chef Boyardee sauce. Now we're just gonna roll this over. So I'm gonna score it then fold it, then we score oh, it again, then you score it again. That's smart. Add in some garlic, a little bit of oregano. Got some baking soda and some boiling water. I'm just brushing it on and it gives it this nice top pocket coating, garlic, herb. And then the last, cheese. It's like a breadstick. Let's see what happens, guys. Into the oven. What's inside of there again? Um, a lot of stuff. <laughs> it just has to look like a hot pocket. Looks like a calzone. All right, on top is the JG, and down there, the JP. I definitely got big. It's a mammoth. I made my dough from scratch. It's not really as poofy or as big as JP's now that it's baked. We, could, we pulled it out of the oven. Wow, this looks pretty cool, but that's not the last step. We did it. We've only been cooking for all day. It's going in the freezer. Come back tomorrow. Why do you have that in there? <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll see you tomorrow. 
It's been a day and we got this ingredient in the mail. It's not an ingredient, it's a tool. This is cool, look at that. Yeah, that's, dude, it's gonna totally crisp up our thing. Now that we have our micro crisps and our Hot Pockets are in the freezer, it's time for Arts and Crafts time with JP. And Julia, you're going down, JP. Get me a protractometer. <laughs> And welcome back to Awesome Crafts Time with Julia Gulia. She's gonna be making the box for you. See, this is what it looks like. And this is how I personally scaled it up all by myself. All right, so you're gonna fold on this line, this line, this line, and this line. All the blue lines. Have a friend help you fold because it makes it more fun. Julia is my master folder. Wait, just cutting away, trim, trim, trim. It's kinda coming out. Did I mess it up? This is my label I made. Caution, product may give you violent diarrhea from eating. JP, you should have put that on yours. <laughs> it's looking really good. <gasps> it doesn't say how long to microwave it. It's so funny. It says here, don't use your micro crisp without the elevation rack. We're still gonna do it? Yeah. We can just hope that it'll stay together. But it'll be obviously this way. So we're calling this one like the food safe one or? Yeah, this is the one that's gonna go in the microwave. When it's in there, it'll be propped up. So let's add our stickers. You're gonna put that in the microwave? Should we not? I feel weird about it not having the label on it though. I already got one. What? Where did this come from? You did this already? I didn't even put my holes in it. I forgot about my holes. <laughs> you don't want me to do this anymore. No, we are. We're going to actually microwave that. I can't believe you just came out with this. Like, no. after all that time helping me, being on my team. Oh, who cares about the competition? You made this and had it hiding in there. I even went in there. <laughs> I was looking at all of your boxes, and this box wasn't there yet. Hey guys, I know there's a stigma against asking for likes. So in this video, we're not going to do that, but we do want you to thumbs this video up. There it is, here's Julia's Hot Pocket. Here it is. It actually looks like a Hot Pocket, good job. This can actually be microwaved. In it goes. How long do you normally put a Hot Pocket in the microwave for? Two minutes, but that's a frozen giant thing. Well, this is four times the size, so let's start with eight minutes and check it. Getting warm already in two minutes. All right, so let's do another two. Ooh, it's smelling really good. It smells like a hot pocket in here. Why is it making popping sounds? What do you mean popping sounds? You don't hear it? You don't see it? It's like popcorn in there. I'm gonna stop it. It's supposed to work like that? Uh-oh. <laughs> Get it off. Oh, feel that part. Yeah. Whoa, it's oh, hot. And it's crispy. Oh, it's so hot. We made a strong bowler. Bite it. I impressed myself. So hot, it's so good. You lose, it burnt you. No, you lose if you don't get burnt. All right, let's see yours, JP. I'm taking it out of the microwave. You put tin foil in the microwave? Hot pocket. Are there still cheeseburgers in there or did the trolls come and get them? <gasps> Here goes nothing. Oh my God. Yes! Whoa! We did it! Mmm! I taste everything! White Castle, Hot Pocket, y'all need to collaborate. Winning combination. You gotta be kidding. Winning combination. I, I made the sleeve functional as well, just like a real Hot Pocket. And then you fold this guy in just like so. Oh my goodness. It fits! It. Not sponsored. So I'm really sorry, Nathan, that we couldn't make it with you, but if you want to see what you could have had, this is, this is, this is what you could have had. <laughs> Boom, yes. <laughs> it tastes great, right? Yes. Vote for the P-Man. You guys know the winner. Just vote for it and comment what you want to see us compete cooking next. Hopefully it'll be some type of crazy pantry challenge because we really should just stay home. We can't go anywhere. And I hope that you guys aren't either. We'll see you next time. Another episode of Healthy Junk Food. Subscribe for more. Bye. You're on my paper. <laughs>
it. <laughs> 